The first edition started four years ago. It was really important at that time for the Basque Country to, to have a conference dealing with one of the main topics of the, uh, the strategy uh, ECUL. And so we decided to, to, to organize it in collaboration with the IPC and the CFM. So as I mentioned before, we were around 120 participants. And now in San Sebastián, we are reaching 600 participants. The conference is a great opportunity for all the community to be all together on the same space and establish new collaborations or discussions in between the different fields that means quantum technologies, because quantum technologies implies many different things. And here we are all together for establishing these new collaborations. This conference allows us to see whether quantum technology is not only the technology for the future, but also is a technology that helps us to develop the technologies we have nowadays. It's of course a, a conference uh, dealing with the new quant evolving quantum technologies, but uh, it's also uh, centered on all the physics and uh, material science, which is around uh, these developments of quantum sensing, quantum technologies in general. And definitely it's growing because the field is growing. There is a growing interest in this field of quantum technologies, quantum computation, and, uh, and that's why basically people are coming, because also I think the quality of the conference is also, is also growing. So here we have a, a combination of different topics and, and communities actually. One community is related to what we can call quantum matter or quantum materials. So it's very large. There are an enormous portfolio of, of materials that, can, that are interesting and provide a potential new technology in the future. On the other side, we have another community which is strongly involved into current quantum technologies. We also even have companies, so we have product on the market already. People realize that this is something quite unique, so it is very interesting. And, and also the fact that the conference is growing fast is related to uh, the interest, the investments that we have in Europe and in the world concerning quantum technology. When we talk about the ingredients necessary for the success of such a conference, we have first to say what is the main idea behind the conference. And the idea is that uh, we want to combine different communities from the quantum engineering, from the quantum materials, and bring them together, and also have the possibility to invite to have the participation of the quantum technology startup and companies. So then we have to also give also the opportunity to speak to the young researchers. So it's important also that uh, we, uh, we can accommodate talks for the students, for the postdocs, and that uh, it's also important that we have some time for them to uh, come together and uh, interact with each other. I think in this particular field, uh, this dialogue between scientists or let's say basic uh, research uh, people and uh, people from companies is much easier. And the reason for that is that uh, many of the people from industry that are, for instance, in this conference, many of the, of the companies that appear in the conference that are around uh, 25, 30 companies or something like that, many of them, uh, they come from both the people and the, the, the companies themselves, they come from the research environment. So many of them, they are spin-off uh, companies, startup companies from different institutions, research institutions. Many of the people working in, in companies in in quantum technologies, uh, they have just uh, finished the research projects doing their PhD or their postdocs. So um, it's uh, much easier in this respect to establish dialogues between uh, uh, scientists and, and people from, from companies. I think the having conference of uh, scientist experts like uh, the one this week is very important because there are some elements of quantum technologies that are already well established and can be already be used. They are ready to be used. One example of that is the quantum computer that is coming to San Sebastian next year. They rely on well established uh, transmoon circuits, quantum superconductor circuits, and we can already use them. But there are many other quantum states that still need to be developed and they are being developed. And this is the kind of uh, new quantum states and quantum matter that we are discussing about this week. These kind of conferences are necessary 
to gather together scientists, share the latest results on quantum states and quantum properties, which are not well established yet. And all together, among all of us, trying to push forward those properties and those states, which eventually will become the well-established quantum states of future. <laughs>